joining us tonight, we've got uh, we've got Andrew, uh, if you can see him, amongst all of the uh, wonderful Welsh people. There we go. Uh, who nearly a year ago underwent groundbreaking surgery uh, to solve decades of debilitating knee pain. Now, that experiment is still growing inside Andy as we speak. And before we find out how he's getting on, here's Michael Mosley with a story so far. 45-year-old father of two, Andrew Bramley Hill, is about to undergo surgery. He has badly damaged the cartilage in his knee whilst practicing Taekwondo. It has become so painful that it's affecting his quality of life. Andrew is one of 10,000 people in the UK who suffer from serious cartilage damage. Cartilage plays a crucial role, protecting the knee from everyday wear and tear. Now this is a model of the knee with the muscle on top. If you move it to one side, you can see these little rubbery discs in between the two bones. Well, that's the cartilage, and their job is to act as shock absorbers, protect the joint. Cartilage takes a lot of punishment, which means it can be easily damaged whatever your age or activity. Unlike normal tissue, cartilage doesn't have its own blood supply. So when it gets damaged, it's extremely poor at growing back or healing. The current treatment is an operation to encourage the growth of scar tissue. Orthopedic surgeon Mr. Gaurav Data explains. You make some holes no more than about five millimeters in length in the bone. They stimulate some bleeding from a clot over the joint surface defect. Now the theory behind it is that over time that clot changes into a layer of scar tissue and that protects the exposed bone. But there are problems with this treatment. Short term the results are pretty good. Long term though, beyond a year or so, we know that the strength of that um, scar tissue is not as strong and it breaks down and patients get return of their symptoms again. Which can lead to more surgery. So Mr. Data is testing an extraordinary procedure to grow new cartilage within the knee. It is the first clinical trial of its kind in the UK. And Andrew is one of the first patients to be operated on. What Mr. Data is about to do now is very new, very experimental. He's going to inject into this patient's knee joint some stem cells. Stem cells are unique because they can become many different types of cell. This gives them the ability to divide and regenerate into tissue cells damaged by injury or disease. They are part of the body's built-in repair kit. It is this unique power that Mr. Darter is hoping to harness in this trial. The bone is perforated, but instead of leaving it at that, they take a further step. He extracts bone marrow from Andrew's pelvis, which is particularly rich in cartilage-forming stem cells. These are then mixed with a special gel that allows them to stick to the bone and stimulates their growth. This is the syringe with the stem cell mixture in it. Okay. We squirt it via a needle into that area, rather like you polyfiller over a wall, exactly the same principle, and hoping over time that transforms into normal cartilage. It will be months before they know if the stem cells have successfully developed into new cartilage. I would expect to see improvements at six months following the initial operation. And then we'll follow them up annually after that, because the real proof in the pudding, so to speak, is that how well do these people do over a period of time and have they actually had a marked improvement in their quality of life? Well, Andrew and uh, Mr. Gaurav Data are here uh, with us now. So first of all, Andrew, what was it like looking inside your own <laughs> knee? Um, it's, it's quite good, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, yeah it's, uh, it's something nobody else ever really gets to see, is it? No, OK. Yeah. Uh, and that was back in March then. Yeah. Um, and how was it of last year? How, how, how is the knee feeling now? And what can you do now that you couldn't do? This um, walk around without pain, basically. Um, a lot of freedom of movement, being able to just do things which I couldn't do before. Mm -hmm. like go shopping, um, go out for mm. walks with the dogs, stuff like that. It's just no pain. So At all? Very, very little pain. Wow. That's pretty so amazing, isn't it? So before, it was about an hour. After an hour, I'd start getting pain. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't got to the limit now where I feel pain in that knee. Yeah. Unless I'm so after like 12 hours or something at work, but that's about it. 
And Gaurav, tell us about this trial then that Andrew's been involved in. Well, first, it's great to see Andrew's got such such mm -hmm. resolution of his symptoms. Yeah. That he's got no pain, which is the, the aim of what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So the trial is called the Abacus trial, and it's based at Southampton's. We've got two groups of patients. One, groups get, one group gets the standard treatment, which is like perforations in the bone. You get some bleeding there, and it forms a, a layer of scar tissue to protect the bones. That's mm -hmm. what it's all about. Our gr um, the group that Andrew was part of, the Abacus patients, we get the patient's stem cells from the pelvis, <laughs> We polyfill them over, polyfill the hole over, over the, uh, the defect, and what we're hoping for is it grows cartilage, rather like you grow a lawn when you've got a, a damaged area of lawn, you put the seeds on the, on the grass, and we're looking to try and get that growth to try and improve the pain. Okay, well, we've heard how well Andrew is feeling, but you haven't been able to look inside your knee as such to know whether or not it's yeah. been hugely successful. So, um, Agorov, you've brought some scans with you, haven't you? So, yes. first of all, let's have a look at the picture <laughs> just before uh, the operation. So this is just the side-on view, an MRI scan, and, and, and uh, the kneecap is visible there, and it shows what you can see is if we zoom in, there's an arrow there. Mm -hmm. The white stuff is the joint fluid, but just immediately behind the white stuff where the arrow is pointing, there's a little crater there. What you should see there is a nice, is a thin grey membrane, like you see coating the rest of the bone, which is the cartilage, and in that picture there is no cartilage. Okay. And then we've got the picture of the knee after the operation. The of truth. Yeah. Now this is it. <laughs> Here we go, Gorav. Tell us what's different. So this is about a year year after the scan. And as we zoom in again uh, with the circle, uh, you can see that the arrow. You still got the fluid yeah, there, but behind. immediately mm. behind that, you can just see a very thin layer of grey uh, lining coating the bone. So that what that is, it's cartilage or a cartilage type substance that is protecting the bone and therefore allowing him to have less symptoms. So it's, it's working. And, and do, you, do you expect then um, this growth to continue then? I mean, how long is this trial going to go on for and how long are you going to observe so it? So the trial is ongoing. We're almost at the end of recruiting and uh, we will monitor patients up five years down the line because that tells us whether the procedure is successful mm. long term. In terms of uh, the cartilage growing, what we don't want now is that to break down and, and leave exposed bone again. So if, no. if we've still got lack of symptoms at five years, then we've had a success. Mm. Could this be a potential solution for arthritis sufferers then? So uh, people get arthritis in two Two ways. This is one way. You start as a small area of damaged joint surface and it gets bigger. Uh, the other way is you just you get generalised thinning of the joints. So the, the, the lawn analogy I used earlier. Imagine a lawn that just goes barren through lack, through lack of grass and goes brown. That's another way. This is not a treatment for that, but it's the treatment for people who get arthritis with who start with a, a defect. Okay. Wow. And well done, because we love law and analogies on this show. <laughs> <laughs> it was perfect. That was perfect. Um, thank you very much, Andrew and Gaurav. Thank you.